This is a story that transpires around the swim pool. Were you out of the I pool? was in the pool. Okay. And Lisa was in the pool. And so Kyle was out mowing that big field yeah. almost. And that's where Timmy stopped me right. and said, can I and go swimming? We had that pool forever. And so we all could swim. Yeah. So here comes Timmy. And he's got on his swim trunks and he had a towel thrown, I think, across his shoulder. And then he bounces really high and he says, Geronimo. And down he goes. <laughs> and he never comes up. He me is blue. Yeah, because mama told us, had I mean, always told us, yes. never jump in a pool when someone's in trouble and drowning. That's exactly, That's exactly right. right. That's, it. That's exactly right. All right, welcome to Storytime with Sharon. We've got two previous episodes that are out there, so make sure you watch those and get caught up on <laughs> Betty Family History. Um, today, we're gonna delve into, we were fortunate when we were kids that my dad and mom built a swimming pool for us. Cement Pond, just like the Beverly Hillbillies, mm -hmm. man. We had one right beside the house. So this is a story that transpires around the swimming pool. So Sharon, we'll just jump right into this one because this one, this one takes a little time. Okay. Um, so we had a cousin that was, he was really dad's cousin. He was dad's he, cousin. He, he was dad's cousin. Yes, because um, his dad and our grandmother were brother and brother sister. Brother and sister. Yes. So Timmy, um, Timmy mm -hmm. Toombs, mm -hmm. and he, um, he was in the neighborhood and we all played together. I played with Randy and Rodney yeah, he lived here in and, and Timmy. So he lived here. I was mm -hmm. always with those guys. Yep. And right behind us here, mm -hmm. there's a pond. Mm -hmm. And one day I was over here and Timmy waded out into the pond and went underwater and came back out. And so <laughs> the, I've seen him in water. I've yep. seen him a million yep. times. Yep. So we're at the house and we have a swimming pool, mm -hmm. and Timmy comes by. I'm mowing the yard, yep. and Timmy, Timmy comes by on his bike, right. and he says, hey, you mind if I get in the pool? Right. And I said, not a problem. Yep. You know what I mean? Because I'd seen him in the water. Right. I'd seen him in the pond. Right. And Mama wasn't there. I yeah, she was in the backyard yeah. mowing, pushing, uh, pushing. on the she other side of the house. And you were there. She was on the other but side of the house. But you were working out at the pool. Were you out at the I pool? I was in the pool. Okay. And Lisa was in the pool. Okay, so y'all were in. Well, the, the pool. only time we could swim is if Mama was in the okay, yard. Okay, so what? So what happened? So Mama, m I, we had a huge yard at yeah. the other house. It's like four acres. Yeah, and if you've ever been to Level Cross and you've seen the home place, and and our house beside, lots lots of yard, yeah. and so Kyle would do the riding. Kyle would ride, and he at, at on this particular day, he was in front of Grandfather's house. Yeah. And he was out in the big field, not around the house, but out in that big yeah. field where now, if we have an event, we park cars yep, and all that right. stuff. So it's huge. And so Kyle was out mowing that big field yeah. almost. And that's where Timmy stopped me right. and said, can I and go swimming? And mom was on the other side of the house push mowing because we had, it was just real choppy. She was so, down like where the azalea beds were. Yes. Yeah, so so there was areas yeah. where... Like in any yard, you would need a push mower or a riding lawnmower. Yeah, to trim around the trees so she and was stuff. trimming and stuff. So we could only swim in the pool yeah. if Mama That's was right. in the yard. That's right. But we had we had that pool forever, and so we all could swim. Yeah. Our pool went from three foot to ten foot. Yeah. You know, and so we like had, all the pools at the hotels we right, stayed at. Right. That's all right. we knew were po hotel right, pools. Right. And we had a diving board. Yeah. We had a diving board. We didn't have a slide. We had a diving board. And so we just knew how to swim and we could just do whatever. And so this particular day, mom's mowing on the other side of the house. Kyle's riding the, lo the riding lawnmower in front of grandfather's house. Yep. So here comes Timmy. And he's got on his swim trunks and he had a towel thrown, I think, across his shoulder. And he came up and we had, we had huge paved beside the pool. So we had yep. lounge chairs and all that, like a hotel. Yeah. And so... Um, Timmy comes up and he says, Kyle said I could swim. And so at the time, we were kind of all in the shallow playing yeah. mainly. And we said, okay, if Kyle said you could, just hop on in the pool. He walks to the deep end of the pool and he gets on the diving board. Yeah. And he bounces a few times on the diving board. And then he bounces really high and he says, Geronimo. And down he goes. <laughs> and he never comes up. And he never came up. Never comes up. Never came up. And so we're standing there and we're like, well, when's he coming up? And you know, it's a pool. You can see. 
He's laying on the bottom, laying flat on the 10 foot flat. Over the drain, over and the drain. All, he was over in the drain. drain. He was in the and, deepest And part. Timmy was a, big he was boy. a big guy. He wasn't as tall as you, yeah. but he was, he you was know. Muscular. He was muscular. He's the strongest he kid I knew, man, ever. And so after we're, we're standing there and we're like, what, what is going, you know something's not right. You know something's yeah. not right. And so Kyle was closer than Mama was because Mama was on the other side of the house. So I remember jumping out of the pool and say, just knowing I had to come get you. Now, remember. Now, how old were we? How old do you think we were then? Again, I'm going to say I was maybe 10. Yeah, 10 or 11. 11. That's right. We were right so, in that So, you know, whatever I am, yeah. you're just right there yeah. above me. And now, remember, there's a whole garage full of men. Yeah. Just steps away. But I go to Kyle. And so I'm waving, screaming, <laughs> and Kyle's out there I riding. See her running. And he sees me. So immediately he realized something's not right. Yeah. So he immediately stops a lawnmower and you run. Yeah, and we run. And you run. And so I'm and you turn telling around and you, running back. I'm chasing Yeah, and I'm now. telling you, Timmy went in and he said Geronimo and he's down on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, you're screaming it. And so <laughs> Kyle runs, and, and just like any pool, you know, you have the brush, the yeah. Skimmer, all those things. Yeah, the brush for cleaning, and, and the broom for cleaning the bottom, and there was and the skimmer and everything. And there was hanging on the fence a big thing with like a hook. Yep. And so Kyle gets it off. Timmy is blue. Yeah, because Mama told us had I mean, always told us yes never jump in a pool when someone's in trouble and drowning. Right. Because they'll drown you. Right. And that stuck. Right. That stuck even so, at ten so, years old. So yeah. So we didn't go to him, no. but we knew he was in trouble yep. and. So Kyle immediately um, gets this, the hook thing, and Kyle starts jabbing him, yep. you know, trying to hook him and get him, and I, I do not know the good Lord was with us that day. <laughs> For sure. Because how Kyle pulled him out of that 10-foot water, because yeah, we're not any help. Yeah, you We're helped. not any help. I, I thought mean, I remembered you helping, because I, I remember poking him, poking him, and we couldn't get him hooked. And finally, he reached and grabbed it. And when it, he grabbed yeah, it, yeah, he tried. Then we started going to the shallow end. It was end the scariest because we thing. Because we had all that ass, we had all yeah. the concrete. It so was the scariest it. thing I've ever seen because I really thought in my mind, I'm going to see somebody die. Yeah. Or I just witnessed somebody dying. Yeah. And right, ten years right old. here, in you know, and, I, and helpless, and yeah. you're helpless. And so Kyle got him out, and Kyle started pu punching, you know, messing with him, and he. By the miracle of the good Lord, he turned his head and all this water, all water and came stuff out. came out. And he had no idea what had happened. No, he didn't have a clue. He had no idea. And we said, you know, <laughs> we thought you could swim. Yeah, I thought he could. And, you know, he, he boy, he, I'm telling you, he, he set up and got it. And by this time, I think Lisa had run and got, got mom. Mama, and she was and there. And so by, by yeah. the time Mama got there, he was already out of the pool. Yeah, he you was already out of the pool. had him out we of the pool. We already had rolled him up on you the You already had him out of the concrete. pool. Yeah. He was already out of the pool. And he had thrown and up all that water. All that stuff was yes. out. But he was coughing and yes. really weak. He was yes. really weak. It's one of the scariest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, you know, and I, I'll was. just never forget. And so it, 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 thank goodness he was okay. But from then on, any time anybody came to our house, we would say, can you swim? Do you know how to swim? <laughs> Ten foot water. Yeah. And now mom and daddy had one of those. Um, yeah, it had, a, it had the a ropes rope that go across when, when it, when it goes from to. three foot yeah. so down if you didn't, to 10. So if you didn't know how so to swim, you, you wouldn't just, wander out. You, you just, just stay on, on this side, side because we were yeah. always had friends yeah. over to yeah. swim in the pool. And, you know, if they yeah. didn't swim, and of course, we had floats. I mean, we yeah. had floats. We had life jackets. We had everything up there that you needed. But he he just. He said he was going to go swim. He asked Kyle. We just assumed he knew how to yep. swim. And he said, Geronimo, Geronimo and down he went. <laughs> and, and down he, he went. And didn't move. <laughs> and I mean, I don't know how long he was down there, but it seemed like yeah, 30 forever. minutes. Yeah. I mean, it seemed like. It was like, forever because you had to, it you seemed watched, like forever. didn't realize, didn't have yeah. to run. Then yeah. We had it, to run well, back. it took us a minute yeah. to realize that he's not even moving. Yeah. He's not even coming up. You know, sometimes people go under and they'll swim under the water or whatever. But I mean, he just went down like a rock yep. and stuck right there. So one that scariest thing I've ever seen. But Kyle saved, Kyle saved his life. You saved his life. So by the time mom got up there, yeah. you know, he, he's come to yeah. and everything. And so the, I think mom, 
I think mom was upset, scared, upset at the same yeah, she, time. Yeah, like she, she was. was upset that she didn't know he couldn't swim. Yeah. Well, she you was know. upset that we let him in the pool. Right. And she didn't know he was in right. the pool. That, right. She was upset about right. that. Right. Right. But then she was upset that everything had happened the way yeah. it was. Yeah. And so that yes. kind of got us out of trouble. Because yes. we really didn't get in trouble for this. Yes. No, you know we I mean? did not. We did get not in get in trouble for and this. And I mean, you know, Kyle saved his life. So I mean, you know, <laughs> oh, I mean. You saved his life. Yeah. We, we got him out of the pool. You we know, got him out of the pool. I mean, yeah, but I couldn't have. I, I, yeah. I wasn't even thinking. I just knew <laughs> I needed to get help. I didn't even think about, oh, I need to get something and get, you know, I didn't even think about that. I thought, I've yeah. just got to get help. Now, here's Kyle on the lawnmower, and I'm sure you had on jean shorts and no shirt and no shoes. <laughs> no shoes. And I could have run to the garage, same amount, same, same amount distance. of steps, same and could have got, I don't know how many grown men that yep. would have just ran over there, jumped in and got him. But no, I, I go and get a 12-year-old <laughs> off of a lawnmower to come yep. and... Um, and and he was saved, but he never came back and asked. No, nope, never, never came back again. again. Never came and back I, again. I think Ma, I, came back to play football and baseball yeah, and basketball. Yeah, he and came back a lot. Came back all the time. But um, all, he, birthday um, parties, all that. Yeah, time. I think mom took him home and, yeah. and told you know his parents yeah. what had happened and everything. And and praise the Lord, he was all right. Yeah. But that was a scary, scary thing to witness. You know, yeah. little children witnessing that. But. All right. Story time <laughs> with Sharon. Never a dull moment in Level Cross. No. Remember, Petty subscribe to Petty Family Racing to our YouTube channel. Follow us on X, on Instagram, Facebook, any other social media that's out there. Also follow Petty Brothers uh, to find out more about this whole crazy world and universe known as Level Cross. <laughs> All right, you probably noticed I'm wearing a 75th anniversary hat. This is our family's 75th anniversary in NASCAR. You can only get this blue hat at the museum from my sister, Sharon. That's why it's story time with Sharon, <laughs> hats with Sharon, t-shirts with Sharon, anything with Sharon comes from the museum. 75th anniversary. Be sure to check them out. <laughs>